despite the loss I'm over here, gotta get across Whether you like it, like it or not There is a moment meant for us And now you made it, but I already played this Not interested, open your eyes, let's get it done Take my hand, just follow me, shadow me, I won Hello everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie and this is Brian. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I do home decor videos, shop with me videos at like Target, Home Goods, Walmart, TG Maxx, Marshalls, Kirkland's, World Market. I'm doing tons of seasonal decor right now. So if you love being an informed shopper, knowing what sales are going on at all the stores, seeing what is new at all your favorite stores, seeing seasonal decor, then you're definitely gonna love it here. So please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Today is an exciting one, guys. I am so pumped. We are going to Daily Deals in Jacksonville. I'm from Orlando. Jacksonville is about two and a half hours away. This is a store I have been dying to go to for like maybe six months. I've been wanting to go here. Daily Deals is a Target salvation liquidation type store. So they buy trucks of like Target salvage merchandise, returns, online returns. There's nothing wrong with the items. They have tons of furniture and basically they have different bins. So like every single day it'll be a different price. So they're closed on Thursdays and Fridays they reopen and everything in the bins is $10 and then it goes down by $2 until it gets down to $1. So then Saturday is $8, six, four, two, and then it goes down to $1. But by then, you have to imagine it's pretty slim pickings in the bins and then they restock everything on Thursdays and Fridays they reopen. So today is Friday, everything in the bins is gonna be $10. So I feel like it's gonna be kind of managing like what's actually a good deal for $10 and then seeing like what it would be like to come back on a day when it's a bit cheaper and what would be worth it to buy on those days. But I am so excited. They do lives on Instagram so I was able to see kind of like what furniture items they might have but I'm really excited to see what they still have or what they have out when we get there. They have current items from like Studio McGee, Hearth and hand past collections online only exclusive items I'm just I'm most excited for the furniture but I am also excited to dig through the bins I don't know I'm just so excited for this video so if you're excited to see daily deals everything they have and what we pick up definitely make sure you stay tuned to the end for a haul of everything I pick up today but without further ado let's head into daily deals and see what it is all about my god we made it I'm so freaking excited I'm like literally running in they have all these tubs and everything in the bins is $10 today. And then if you can see over there on the wall, like I said, it goes down every single day. So today is the most expensive day, but they have like tons of stuff. So like for instance, like that wouldn't be a good deal because it's from the dollar spot and it's normally $5. And right now they have it for 10. So like that's not really a good deal. But then they have like this pumpkin pillow, which I've actually never seen before, but would match my fall decor perfectly, so. I might consider picking up that. It's still in the plastic too, so it's literally brand new. I have this Studio McGee throw for 10 bucks, so I might pick this up as well. Honestly, such a good deal, you can't beat it. This is $30 originally. They have these outdoor pillows. These are so cute for $10. This rug. You have to, you have to like to dig for sure. Paper towel holder, threshold. This like wood cutting board from Threshold. That's kind of nice. A popcorn maker. Actually, that could be worth 10 bucks. Ooh. Yeah, I saw that, but I figured you'd always choose your Star Wars guy. This one was money, except. Oh yeah, that is nice. Look at this bowl. It's so nice. This bowl's yeah, super nice. I don't really know what that is, but that's, oh, does this go on here? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Tons of unopened makeup. This is another item I probably would wait until it's like a $4 day minimum and then it goes down, but it does get more picked over obviously as the days go by. But like $10 is pretty much what you'd pay at Target, so it's not like a great deal. The magazine rack or log thing that's currently out at Target from Studio McGee, this is pretty new. Hello everyone, editing Katie here. I feel the need to cut in at this exact moment because the like fire alarm sounding like woo 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 that I wanted to explain so when I was in the store when it was happening I honestly like was not really sure what the heck was going on so basically there is a like restock of this like special part of the store at noon so they do that like for a while leading up to it to like get you excited about it so 
I'm sorry that it is absolutely annoying in the background. I had no idea what was going on. I was like so overwhelmed at this point because we had just walked in and I just wanted to look and touch everything at the exact same time, which is not possible. But that's what that like, woo, 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 woo sound is. Okay, bye. Actually, one more thing. I just wanted to say, if you ever doubted that I was the youngest of my five siblings, yes, I'm the youngest of five. That was your proof, me going like woo woo in your face. Totally youngest sibling vibe right there. But I wanted to say don't click off of the video because that annoying noise is about to end right here. I know it is annoying and frustrating, but it is about to end and you're not gonna wanna miss all of the things that I found here. So don't click off the video. All right, enjoy. Oh, is it broken? Oh, because it's broken, but I feel like it just needs to be like screwed back on. But yeah, look. Magazine holder from Studio McGee. They also have like bins and bins and bins of clothing. Swimsuits, children's clothing, women's, literally like every clothing they have at Target you could find here in the bins. As well as like hair pieces, so like headbands. They have all bedding from like Threshold, Opal House, Hearth and Hand. All different like sizes too to kind of like look through. These are not $10 a piece. These are like 30 or you just have to like look. Oh look, they have a Casa Luna Down Alternative mattress pad. Wow. They allowed us in the back area and they have so much more stuff, like it's crazy. I don't understand how they don't get like so stressed out because they have to like dig through all of this, but there's some serious gems like outdoor living set like these are the studio mcgee ones it's like endless it's endless this brand new studio mcgee throw literally just came out they have it here for ten dollars i mean i am just very familiar with all of the stuff that they have this is nice i can easily wash it and it would be good as new because it is new look at these target circle post-it notes these are so funny i feel like these are like a company thing for sure. This spa bath mat from Threshold is really, really nice. It's just so white and I'm thinking about not doing white bath mats moving forward. It's just so hard with like the dogs and everything. But this one's really nice. Another example, so like this was on clearance for 550, started off as 11. Because today's Friday, it's 10, but honestly, I'm still obsessed with this store. I really like these pillows. Or just these like big threshold pillows. They'd be great for potentially our bed. They also have this like really nice Sherpa one. I like this braided one too. Oh my gosh, what's this? A shoe rack. Found this like current Studio McGee vase here. They do also have the bigger one too. Both of these would be 10 bucks. So this is like the VIP area with like all the crazy good furniture. There's just, oh my gosh. I'm about to refinish my whole house. So they have this chair. This is a Studio McGee chair. Everything has like a sale price on it. So I just have to find the sale sticker somewhere on here because these items will be on sale. Plus it's buy one furniture item, get one 50% off. This is another one we are interested in. I like this one a lot. I've actually never seen this chair. They have this nightstand. I was actually considering this as our nightstands, but they never came back into stock, but they have one here and it's already fully built, which is always nice. I also love this side table a lot. It is on sale for $60 and I think at Target it's originally a hundred. Couple of the Palmdale console table. This is 175 and it's, I think, over 300 if you buy it new at Target. So, pretty good deal. Like I said, all of this furniture stuff is buy one, get one 50% off. So, most likely I'll pick out two pieces just to, like, make it an even better deal. But, 
whoa, I'm overwhelmed. They also have this entertainment center, which I like, but it's pretty low to the ground. And the color is like not perfect, but it would go well if we ended up getting this chair that has the dark accents. This would definitely pull it together. Okay, so you're gonna notice that a lot of these items say salvage on them. Like they have stickers on them that say that they're going to salvage. So going to salvage is a term I talk about pretty often in my videos, and this is what I mean. Like these companies buy trucks of like salvage items from Target and then sell them at like super discounted prices. So like sometimes when I find an item in the store that's like pretty old and it was supposed to be sent to salvage, like they can't sell it to me. A lot of the times people are nice enough and they just sell it, but that's what I mean when I say like it was supposed to go to salvage is a store like this how are you feeling good this is fun the store's a blast you like it yeah. <laughs> it's like honestly so yeah, overwhelming it's like a non-stop <laughs> scavenger hunt <laughs> and um so like back there against the wall that's like all new stuff they're putting out at noon and like they're blocking it so that no one can touch it yet the great thing about this store too is that i can use my target app to like scan items and they come up and I can see what they originally were. So this actually matches our coffee table that we have. It's 110 still on Target and they have it here for 55. I'm trying to look through all these boxes as well because we really need a TV stand. I really, really like that one, but I'm gonna look through all these boxes. These two outdoor bar stools are super nice. These would be nice for our patio. We are still looking for like a bar height table. And these could be perfect. These are on sale for 80 a piece. They have a ton of these as well. These are an option I was looking at when I was shopping for bar stools. And it's so funny to see them in person now. And these are all 75 a piece. Here is another chair they have that I like. Just looks like comfy and cozy, which I think would be nice for our bedroom. I haven't seen this chair either. So this is a threshold chair. It's called the Archdale Wood Upholstered Accent Chair. This one is originally 300, so they have it here for 150. They also have like tons of rugs. I've seen a lot of people leaving with rugs. So five by sevens and stuff are 40, and then um, bigger ones are 90. So the highest price is 90, and then the smaller they get, they go down to like 40. Honestly, it's a really good deal. The owner is so nice and helpful. Um, he was like, oh, like what entertainment stands are you looking for? Because they have so many in the back. And he's like, we've definitely had all of those. He's in the back now, like scanning a bunch of boxes to see if they have any of the ones that I was looking for. And potentially we can go home with one. Um, I'm crossing my fingers because we really, really need a TV stand. They have this outdoor chair that matches the like outdoor sectional that we saw look at all of these current <laughs> studio mcgee chairs like this is wild these are on sale for a hundred bucks i love these a lot like these are so so nice oh my god i'm gonna want to come back here like every week another accent chair that's super super nice i like this mirror a lot too i like the shelf at the bottom I would probably want to spray paint it black. I just don't like the coppery color. But then I also really like this one that they have for $40. It has this like frame and it's just this like nice oval shape, but it's pretty big and it's a really good price. This Opal House mirror is so nice. I love the rattan accents on it. So this is a really nice one. They have this poof. So this is also 50% off, but since I'm getting a furniture item, I can pick anything else for an additional 50% off of that item. They also have like the tiny Target lamps for eight. They're 10 at the store, so not like a crazy savings on these. Look at this. They let us in this back room and we've just been scanning and scanning and scanning and scanning all these boxes. Look at Threshold, Project 62. Another Project 62, Studio McGee, Wicker Accent. Oh, Did you get the water bottle? my word. Alrighty, we just got home and I wanted to quickly do a haul of what we picked up from the store. Overall, I loved it. I was like super overwhelmed at first because like, I didn't really have like a lay of the land or like an idea of what the heck was going on. But by the end, I felt like a pro. The owner, his name is Mo, he was 
amazing, super helpful, was like, what are you looking for? Had me pull up pictures from the app, and he's like, oh yeah, we get that all the time, and like told me like to let him know, and whatever, like just being super, super helpful of like what I was on the lookout for. So like I mentioned a few times, everything today in the bins was $10. Some items do have like other set prices, but we're gonna go ahead and get into the haul, and I'll tell you like what the original item price is versus what I paid, and then we'll do like a little comparison, like total price comparison at the end. Okay, so the first item I picked up, you guys have probably all seen before. I did decide to grab the small Studio McGee round base. I just felt like there's a lot of things I could do with it. A lot of these items I'm gonna be using in an upcoming video, my master bedroom and bathroom makeover transformation. So I've been curating items for that. So this is one of the items I picked up. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it before at Target. Originally, it goes for $20 and today at Daily Deals, I got it for 10. So I'm happy with that. I feel like that was a really good deal. The next item I picked up that I am super excited about is the new Studio McGee throw. It's not in the packaging anymore, but I immediately knew it when I saw it. I'm pretty familiar with the items that they have, but it's in perfect condition. I'm of course gonna throw it in the washer. At first I'm like, oh, it's kind of gross. Like everybody's touching everything, but like, what do I think happens at the store on a normal day? Like everybody's constantly touching everything, but I did get the Studio McGee throw for $10, and right now, because it's literally a brand new item, you can get it at a Target near you for $30. So I definitely feel like that was such a good deal. The next item was this Hearth and Hand pillow. It's just like super neutral, has this like line at the bottom. Thought it would go well with anything, whether I decide to use it on our bed during the makeover or on the couch after I'm done with seasonal decor. I decided to pick this one up. I got it for 10 and normally it is $20, so a 50% savings there. The next item I decided to pick up, I'm pretty sure is an upcoming fall item that hasn't even hit the shelves yet, and it is this orange pillow. On the tag it says it's a threshold toss pillow. It's originally going to be, or it was $15, and I got it for 10. It just goes so perfect with my fall decor that I have, and I don't have any pillows with like pumpkins. I mean, I have the one from the dollar spot, but I don't know. I just thought this went so perfect with my whole like fall theme that I have going and I loved the little like tassels how they're like orange and ivory and I really like this would have been an incredible deal if it wasn't like the first day of the week where everything is ten dollars but I still am really happy with it up next is an aquasonic toothbrush this is the exact toothbrush that Brian has he has it in black but he paid like $100 for it. They had them there for $20, completely unopened, nothing wrong with them at all. They checked it out totally and it's completely brand new. It's never been touched. So he got one for me because I am like such a traditional toothbrush person. I don't have an electric toothbrush, but he picked me up this really pretty white one for $20. Well, I guess he picked it out and I paid for it. We also grabbed this Contigo water bottle for $10. It's uh, like 24 hours cold, 10 hours hot water bottle. You can never have too many of these. We always bring them to the parks, on bike rides we are the type of people that always have reusable water bottles with us so he got this one for ten dollars now let me go get the big item that like my heart is like mm, to show you guys let me go get it i got the beautiful studio mcgee ventura accent chair there is absolutely nothing wrong with it i got this beautiful chair for ninety dollars Originally it is $220. So typically they just like do 50% off. But we were there for like a long time really chatting with him and he was like, I wanna give you guys a good deal. So he gave it to us for $90 as opposed to $210, which is so crazy. There's literally nothing wrong with it. There's not a stain on it. Nothing is broken. There's no scratches. It's in completely perfect condition and I'm just so in love with it and I'm just so happy and I can't wait to go back. They were doing the furniture for buy one, get one 50% off, but there really wasn't anything else that like we needed and like we don't really have tons of space to like put everything. So I didn't want to get something just to get it. So I did go ahead and total up everything and everything like original price from Target, if you bought all this, would originally cost around $425 and I paid $173 I think for everything. So overall, we just had such an amazing experience. I would highly recommend making the trip if you're anywhere near the Jacksonville area. The store is called Daily Deals. Just like I said, I'll have their information down below. Everyone that we encountered that worked there was just so like nice and pleasant and helpful and just like wanted you to find the items that you were looking for. If you're someone like me and like is very familiar with what I was like sold at Target, they were like, so into helping you and I just really appreciated it. Even Brian had like the best time and he's not a shopper. 
So I highly recommend checking it out. And I don't know, I just overall thought it was such an amazing experience and I can't wait to go back. I really hope that you guys love this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you want us to go back and let me know down in the comments if you liked this style of video. I know it's a little bit different, but oh my gosh, I just loved it so much. And I really think that you guys are gonna love seeing it and experiencing it, even if it's just on camera as much as I did. But that is gonna be it for me. If you haven't yet, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!